Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Renita Young here to take you through today's market action. So let's take a look at where markets closed to end Thursday. It was a mixed session with the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500, both up by about one tenth of a percent. But the Dow ended in the red and the small cap Russell 2000 closed down by more than one and a half percent. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors on the day, seven of the 11 S&P 500 sectors ended higher with communication services up by the most about nine tenths of a percent followed by tech. To the downside, energy slid around 2% followed by consumer staples. Looking at some stocks on the move, a Cisco system plummets nearly 10%. Although earnings beat, markets traded on the company cutting its full year 2024 guidance. It also issued second quarter adjusted earnings per share and revenue guidance below estimates. As a result, several analysts cut their price targets on the stock. Over to Walmart, which fell around 8% during the trading day. Now, although the company also beat on earnings, it issued a surprise guidance cut and a warning about softer consumer spending. Expectations for Walmart are extremely high since it tends to do well in a challenging macro environment. And after the close, Applied Materials reported earnings and revenue that beat analyst estimates. The company issued strong guidance, yet shares were impacted as a criminal investigation looms over the stock. Let's look at what to watch for tomorrow. It's a light day for data with housing starts and permits headlining, and then several Fed speakers throughout the day. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.